WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everyone. Basil Chapman here. This is the 3 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. Dow's up 360 points at 33,836. That is really important. Why? Because it was down 300 points on Friday after kind of a wishy-washy say, doing okay, and then whoosh, the last half hour, hour started to slide and closed at the low. So this is going to be very important. If we can get a, um, a a green candle, big green candle, a Marboza candle where there's no wick uh, and close towards the high of the session. That's going to suggest that there's some, there's more internal strength right now than weakness just at the very moment. We'll see what happens. We'll see if the S&P, and we'll do some of this in a few minutes' time where I'll do the Tom O'Brien show. Uh, the S&P is up 35 at 39.69. So that is up. 0.90%. Uh, the Dow's up 1.09%. This is going to be another important aspect because the sideways consolidation could be a halfway market to the move down. And if there's a really strong move up, say, by Fed speak day on Wednesday so towards the 39.78 to 39.82 level, that's going to be quite important. Give us a bit more of a cushion. The, IW, the QQQ, as I said before, uh, each one's following. The, the Qs are up only 0.69 percent, up a dollar 96, a 283.99. Kind of still acting very weak. And the IWM, the Russell 2000, these are the small caps. Uh, nice candle today, up a dollar 93. One of the better percentage winners, but still acting very poorly overall. Gold. Uh, gold is tra uh, traveling towards the downside now, making a potential little mini double top in the daily chart. Uh, it's going to have 1791 as the 200-period exponential moving average support. I'll talk about that 200-period EMA when I get back. And you're looking at um, the dollar attempting to rally. And now up 25 ticks at 105.21. It needs to clear that 200-period moving average and go into the 107.50 area to say, hey, goodbye for the moment. But at this particular point, that's like a magnet. Looking at crude oil, crude oil did have a nice bounce today. It's still bouncing. It's up to at 73.14. But it keeps making lower lows and lower, and lower highs. We'll look at this with the XLE, the S&P energy sector, when we get back. Uh, for the Tom O'Brien show, the TLT is trading uh, up 21 cents at 106.55. It's it's had a very good run. Now it's taking a little bit of a breather. If we all look at the inversion when we get back. That's the TBT. In the meantime, I wanted to just say the volatility index had a very big spike earlier on. It's still up a dollar 81, up seven, almost eight percent at 24.64. What is it seeing that we don't see? We'll talk about that as well. So there's a lot.